Hello guys, this is Mavatek. In today's video, we are going to install macOS Motive on the Intel base CPU. I mean, this is a Skylake CPU. It, it may be different from your PC. So we are going to need five files. Big saw, the Mojave image file, can download it from a Larela and those tools. From here, let's flash the EFI. You open the Belena Archer and you select the file you want to flash. For here, I will choose this Mojave because this is what we are going to work on. And you choose this one. And here, you insert your pen drive and you select the target and you select the pen drive, the one you have inserted. Then you click select and you start flashing. So without spending my time, you will wait till the flashing process is complete. So now that the installation is com flashing is complete, we open the Paragon Petition Master. We wait for it to open. And for me, I've already petitioned a disk for this work. So here I'm going to select the type of disk I have selected for the installation. So this is it. This is the where the Windows file is. This is the main Windows file. This one, you can't install a file there. So I will use different file. This one, yes. And we are going to format the disk so the, the for formatting process from the file system you are going to choose Apple HFS and the name you wish to use it for the installation from here I will use Mojave Mojave HD yeah then after that we we'll click on format apply yes and next we wait for it to complete once it's complete we close the app then we open the mini to partition and here you have to be a little cautious here you have to search for the file I mean the pen drive. So you see the pen drive have a little symbol. Thank you. 
then you go back to minute 2 partition then you right click choose you change the partition ID and you choose EFR system partition you choose that one and then I said then you apply Once you reboot, make sure you, you hit your boot menu key. For my machine, boot menu key is F12. So you keep pressing it repeatedly until you see until you see this menu. Then you select your pen drive. Click enter. Then here, you select the install Mac OS Mojave. Click enter. Then you wait. If you get an error here, it means the file is not compatible with your PC. You have to look a compatible file. Since the, once the installer boots, you have to head to disk utility from here. I will do nothing for now. I have to go and check if the file is available to install on. If it's not available, then we will come and format the drive. Click on continue. Continue again, again, and you accept. Here, you see, it's not available, so you have to go back. You have to go back and erase the disk and come back again. You see, it's not accessible, so you have to go back to the disk utility and format the volume you erase the volume then you come back again yeah once you erase it will available so here it will take some time let's relax and be patient and wait for it complete It's gonna take some time so we have to relax this is the first boot you select again mac os installer and you boot you hit enter You need to have patience and wait for it to complete. Once it reboots, yeah, we choose since the name is up here, we choose the Moja of HD and reboot.
yeah, the setup screen. You just choose your country. Here, yeah, I'll choose Ghana because I'm from Ghana. You don't, you don't do anything here. Here you just enter your name and the password you will use to log in any time you will boot your machine. So I will enter my details. And click continue. Yeah, you have to wait for it to do its own thing. And here we are. We have successfully installed Mac OS Engine. It is done, but it is not finished. Now we have to copy the EF file on the pen drive into our Windows Boot Manager. For that you need open core configuration file open core configurator but here it's on my drive so i will copy it on desktop you need this to to mount your efr there are so many ways to mount your efr but i prefer this Click here. Yeah, you have to look for the file. Yeah, for the where for the file, which it contains the Windows Boot Manager. For where I will select my SSD and mount it. After mounting, you open the SSD folder. You open it, double click and open it. Open the EFR and delete the OC. If there's a previous version of OC on it, then open the pen drive, the EFR on the pen drive. You open, then you copy only the OC. Then you place it inside the Windows Manager. Here you can see my speed, my storage. Speed storage is out. So I have to delete some unnecessary files on my system or the Windows Boot Manager. So I'll go back here and delete all these files because I don't need them. And I left only the EFR. Do not de delete the EFR because it contains the Windows Boot file. Then you place it here. You place it here. Here, this is the main important thing, and it's done. Everything is in place. Now we can boot without the pen drive this is the spoof for the graphics to work and graphic acceleration is enabled which we are having 4 gig of rerun now everything is in a perfect shape 
so guys this is all for today thank you all my viewers and make sure don't forget to subscribe like for more videos coming help us grow let's hit 1k followers thank you guys